I have so much water. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Dude, it's actually kind of insane. I want to pave the entire world with concrete. Can I build um, conveyor belts over water? Oh, I can. Okay, that actually might be very helpful. I'm just trying to think how I'm going to do this. This world is so wet. It is, Celio. Yes. I may want to prep some defenses. The swarm will launch an assault when the threat bar is full. Mate, I don't know what that does. Wait, it comes from the sky? Well, I am not going to prepare any defenses because I don't have any. Warning. Insufficient core energy. Press C to open the mecha panel and replenish the fuel chamber. The enemies on this planet are watching you like hawks. Without sufficient energy, you'll be defenseless against them. Ah, oh, jeez. Yeah, yeah. So I know that there is a, a base built over here. I don't know what this does. I have no clue how strong these things are. I would imagine the first attack wave is going to be very weak, but it'd be hilarious if I just die. Like, hilarious for you guys. Maybe not so much for me, but who fuck cares about my opinion, you know? Um, at this point, I cannot build any base defenses. I saw there was a research for it called a weapon system, but I need the blue electromagnetic matrices for that, and I need to automate that production first. So, apparently this thing is time-based. And it determines, yeah, whenever it's gonna be attacking me. Okay, so I've played this pretty slowly. Um, maybe I should have been faster? I don't know. I'm not gonna be faster. I'm gonna keep playing slowly. Because that is what we do. I will have to automate the production of the blue cube. I'll just pretend that nothing's happening and then we'll see when this thing attacks me what it looks like, okay? I'm hoping that my dude is gonna auto-fire and murder all of them. That's my current defense plan. Because I did upgrade my... ...stuff. A little bit, anyways. So we're gonna have to start up a bunch of these things. I need to go, I'm gonna need a couple miners here to mine these. I'm gonna need to make a couple of these things. I already have some of those. Yep, let's get it going. So, first order of business is automating... What are they? These things right over here. So that's gonna require magnets as well as iron. No, no, no. Yeah, no, it's magnets together with copper ingots. Okay, so this is gonna be copper ingots over here. I think I'm making one of them right now. Good. What's going on, Domino? Hello. Dark Fork is launching an, ass an assault. Okay. Um, luckily, my base is ugly as shit, and I don't care about losing it. This does not look great. I'm not gonna lie. The fact that they're attacking me... <gasps> Jet! Please say it ain't so! Seven hit points?! Oh no. There's a couple actually right over here. I, I don't know if I have a weapon. I'm assuming my dude has a gun. And will just automatically fire. Warning. A dark fog planetary base has launched an attack. Icarus is equipped with laser weapon module. I did it! Automatically strike enemies within its range. Faster mecha power generation means a faster rate of fire. Fill the chamber with fuels. I did it, gamers! To engage. GG. Yeah, I'm basically a Protoss unit. My unit just kind of fires. I don't even have to do anything for it. It just it just works. Great time. Great time to be a Protoss player. Okay, so I'm gonna have to make some copper ingots. That's these things right over here. I want to refine them in this spot, and then we'll ship them towards the right. Oh shit, there's another thing over here attacking me. I thought you were just still making noise. So I don't actually attack, like I just walk in this direction. 
Okay, yeah, it just takes a minute or so. Okay. Now I've got a feeling that it will be a little bit more powerful. It seems Mecha's core energy for charging. More advanced fuel can increase the fuel chamber's power mm. and the rate of fire of laser weapon module. Gotcha. Makes sense. Will I also need copper for this? I do, yeah. So I need circuit boards. Can I get a splitter already? Is a splitter a thing at all? Because I was thinking about making a bunch of these. I guess I can use a sorter to just sort of create like a fake splitter. I'm not sure. What's going on, Domino? You love the StarCraft cast? First time you found me on Twitch? I stream pretty much every day. Maybe I should advertise that more on my YouTube channel, but I stream about 30-ish hours a week usually. Yeah, I don't think I can get the, the research yet. Okay, so we want to smelt ores. And turn them into bars. So these are going to go like so. There we go. I think they added blueprints at some point to this game too, because I remember manually doing all this stuff and it was really painful. It's a long time ago, but... Okay, let's connect this in over here. You're about to have 10 days off? Ooh, that's a long time. Uh, that's a pretty bad spot for that logo, what the heck? You get to celebrate the holidays? Shh. Insane. My boss is a bit of a jerk, dude. Does not allow me to play or to, to do anything. As a matter of fact, getting my arms sliced open next week. Can you believe it? Uh, what was it? It was... There you go. Burning. Very good. Loki, you can shift click a building and we'll copy that building with all the sorters on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Oh, it also includes the sorters. That's what they changed. That's a good point. Am I becoming a cyborg? Uh, no, no. Not really concerned about that. I am a little concerned about my ear situation. Apparently my right ear is not looking all too great. May have to do a little bit of a uh, slice and dice. I think that's what they called it in the medical world. A quick slice and dice. Okay, so I want to be bringing this one all the way over there. I just need more conveyor belts. Yeah, dude, I've had many ear operations, especially when I was a kid. I think the last one must have been at this point maybe 15 years ago. It's been a while. But um, I always go to the ENT doctor every usually three to four months to make sure my ears are not messed up. And it turns out one of them is re-messing up. Supposedly they have some new technologies that essentially allows them to recover or help you recover much quicker from an operation. Plus on top of that apparently they don't actually have to use some of the stuff they used to use in the past. Um, and maybe that will help with keeping it away permanently, but anyways, I need to do a scan first, early January, and they'll confirm whether or not what they suspect is the case is indeed the case. There's about a 25% chance my ear is fine, though, and that I don't need an operation. But it turns out you can't really look at it, you know, because you just look at your eardrum and they can't really look around the corner, so they have to use a scan in order to figure it out. But yeah. They basically take a cordless drill and clean up your ear canal. Yeah, basically. Okay, so this is kind of where I want to do some of my... Um, my refining.
We want to start up some blue production. Meds are as good as they could be right now. Yeah. Like, I didn't quite realize this as a kid. But it turns out, uh... Apparently, especially for ear operations back in the day, they were like, Yo, there's a nerve running through your middle ear, right? It would be bad if we hit that, because that controls the side of your face. So apparently what they used to do back in the day is just go way around it. <laughs> and it turns out that's not what they do anymore. Apparently they're slightly smarter about it. Can you believe it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still a little bit of a creepy thought, though. The same nerve runs in your jaw? Yeah, it runs through your ear canal from your brain through your ear, and then, yeah. More smarter is more better. Absolutely. Well said. You have a way with words. Really, Blasia? So, I read up about that yesterday. Razia is saying I had an ear operation when I was eight and I can't smile on that one side? Yeah, so I had a bunch of ear operations when I was a kid. And apparently that could have happened to me as well. So y you've just not been able to ever since then? That's pretty wild, man. You just learned about this? I don't know what the name of the nerve is. There's probably a medical dude in the chat who can tell you. Faciella's nervous or something? I'm not exactly sure. I think that's what I read about anyways. Medical dudes in the chat assembling. Well, maybe there's not that many medical dudes in the chat. Maybe, I don't know. Iracle nervous? That's the name. Now, basically, there's one nerve that goes and controls the right side of your face, and then the other one that controls the left side of your face. And, um, apparently, uh... They're very careful these days. And they have some sort of technology that allows them to stay clear from those. Tons of engineers, but no doctors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe the doctors are actually, uh, you know, working. I mean, uh, not to say that the engineers aren't, but, uh... <clears throat> so I need to make magnetic coils and these things. You're a doctor in literature? You're a software doctor? Okay, Chad. Can I already make... Oh, dude, I am gonna... I don't want a spaghetti. I really want to try a nut spaghetti. But we may end up... No, I'm not gonna spaghetti right at the start. Maybe a little bit. But I'm gonna try and prevent spaghetti. It's always like this. Yeah, yeah. So I need to get an input, right? Wrong connection type. Use a sorter. There are two types of facility ports. Connection ports and bridge ports. Connection ports are only compatible with conveyor belts, while bridge ports are only compatible with sorters. If a conveyor belt can't connect to a facility, try a sorter. Okay. I'm gonna go to that other iron vein right over here. I'm gonna try and not make an ugly base. It's already kind of ugly though. But at least, you know, we're trying. I'm gonna use this one instead of the other one. So I need to make two, right? One of them needs to have a belt with... Iron plates on it, and then another one... Oh shit, this belt is going the wrong direction. I don't know how to change that. Okay, well anyways, we'll change that in a moment, I guess.
Okay. Um, I need to get some smelting going over here. Is it going to automatically change direction? I don't think it will. No. It's not ugly, it has personality. <laughs> I don't want... I don't want the factory of personality. I think there's a bit of a misunderstanding. How do I reverse it? I don't know. I do like that my dude is not getting his hands dirty, though. He's just letting his minions do everything. That's great. Maybe I got a little too ambitious queuing up these conveyor belts. I think I'll do it like this instead. Okay, so this one has to end up over here. There we go. So the idea is that we can mine and smelt and do all of the things. How do I copy it? Oh yeah, right. There we go. You have city builder aficionados in the chat? Absolutely. AKA nerds, am I right? Wait, no, 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 sorry. You haven't played this in a long time? Yeah, it's a good game, man. Okay, we gotta connect this in with the main factory, something like that. There you go. So these guys should start mining iron. They're then gonna be smelting iron, turning it into these iron ingots. Chet is 50% nerd and 50% weeb? I would say that if you're a weeb, you basically also have to be a nerd, no? So basically what you're getting at is that Chet is 100% nerd. <laughs> That includes myself. I, I would say that if you watch other people playing video games, that's a pretty nerdy thing. Yeah, that's pretty nerdy. Okay. Um, I think I just need more electricity, right? Seems to be the problem. Remove the litter. We'll have to make a bunch more uh, solar panels. Hey, very nice. You have three of my full-time nerd t-shirts? Good, good, good. See, Hartnepper? Hartnepper was saying he had one of my mugs. And he didn't need a second. You also have a mug? Ay, 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 ay. Completely kitted out. Very good. You're gonna have a paint job. <laughs> Did you actually order it, Rumpus? I drew a beautiful work of art in Microsoft Paint the other day on stream. Rumpus said he wanted to get it framed. <laughs> you actually... you actually did? <laughs> you're getting it framed? Like, you're not doing it yourself. You have people for that. That's amazing. 
Okay, so this is recipe number one. Which one? I know, Meerkats. I do draw a lot of beautiful art on stream. Thank you, thank you. That's what you were saying. Thank you, dude. Okay, um... Oh, shit. I have no more power. I guess what I should do is just have, like, a little mining machine over here just for coal. That I can occasionally snoop from. I... Yeah, yeah. Thank you. You literally went to someone and said, Yo, frame this masterpiece? You have a, a framing guy? That's amazing. Guys in the chat have... Yeah. People for that sort of thing. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't personally. Well, my framing guy uh, doesn't like it when I call her that, you know? But... <laughs> no, no, no. She's kind of sick right now. I can't make fun. Risky, risky business. Um, now we do the same thing, but for something else. I need to get iron stuff right over here. Can I? So I kind of want to see if I can make like a, a makeshift splitter. So since I don't have access to splitters yet, can I just... Can I do a makeshift splitter like that? <laughs> that works! I don't know how efficient this is, but... Could I like... Oh no, that's not what I meant. Is it possible for me... To improve my makeshift splitter? By increasing capacity, like so? I think that would work. Excellent. That's my splitter. Oh, maybe this is my splitter by default, actually. Do I even... I don't know if I get another splitter. I don't remember. Doesn't matter. Um... These will have to make those. Yeah. So, I need to get my magnetic coils. I don't love this. No, we're gonna change this a little bit. I actually forgot that I still need to smelt those over. Yeah, so you're gonna be making magnetic coils. And then we need another input over here on this side. I did use a specific seed. Well, it's a randomized one. Everything's random. So I have no clue how good this seed is. But you're more than welcome to play along, of course. But don't expect greatness of this particular world. Thank you, Fernando. I lost count. But then there is Twitch who reminds me I'm still here. Very nice. Thank you, dude. If I fail, I will just blame Loco. Absolutely. I recommend doing that with anything in life. Just always blame me. Yeah, so this stuff is already in the way. Changing this one over. And this one has to go... A little bit of spaghetti ink, chat. But remember, this is a temporary setup. <laughs> There's really nothing more permanent than a temporary solution in these games. Maybe that's actually a parallel in real life, too. Temporary solutions become very permanent, at least.
ปุ๊งปุ๊งปุ๊งครับ So that gives us the two things we need. I just need more conveyor belts now. You're currently working on a six-month-long temporary solution. Oh yeah, yeah. I actually don't think I need this. This little abomination that I built. There you go, cleaning it up a little. Okay, so this is item number one that we need. I want to leave at least a little bit of room so I could expand it with a couple more of these machines. Ah, uh, maybe I can already do that. I guess we may as well. No, I shouldn't do that. Because I won't be able to support it. Just like with uh, Factorio, by the way, guys, I do not plan on calculating ratios in the slightest. I will create bottlenecks and I'll try and solve those instead. It's uh, one of the worst ways to play a game like this, but I just let you guys know in advance. Because I know it will bother many of you, but it's okay. Well, for me anyways, I don't know about you, but... Um, is it possible for me to... Oh, God. Can I... <laughs> do I need to do that? Do I have a way? Can't I go up and down? How do I go up and down? I thought it was page up, page down. I don't have a numpad yet. Ah, oh, fuck. Is this where I... I <laughs> Here comes numpad superiority gang in the chat again. Don't, don't... Okay, okay, we're good, we're good, okay. Arrow keys? Ah, arrow keys. I, I was gonna re-hotkey it. This also works, I guess. For the best spaghetti. Cool loco. Numpad? More like dumpad? Oh, dude. Very nice. I guess we'll uh, move this one forward, like so. Oh, oh, perfect. Can't really come up with anything better than that. Oh, actually I can, Never mind, guys. My huge brain just came up with something even better looking than this. <laughs> we can just let it go down over here. What? No way. Brilliant stuff. Nobody's ever considered this before. Um, now I need to put it in one of those things. I made eight. That's maybe a bit more than I really needed, but... Yeah, yeah, you can stack them. You can stack them. A matrix lab. A facility to produce matrices. It can also be used to research technologies that are unlocked with matrices. Oh! Matrices are the source codes to maintain the center brain simulation of a homeland. You can upload as many matrices to the center brain to run its simulation and unlock more technologies in the real world. Um, so I need to have one of these sets for research as well. What an ugly base. Stop, stop filling in these fucking things, please. Stop it. Stop it. Just stop it all. Stop. Stop. It's ugly. We'll make some more uh, random things, I guess. Because I will need more. Cue them up. Cue them up. I need to put this down somewhere. I think I'm actually already going to start destroying some of my junk. Yeah, get rid of it. Okay. Um, I want to make sure that I have an output over here as well. 
to a similar tower just like this one. There we go. And this one is then going to be for research. So we have a little... Can I actually just run a conveyor belt out of this one? Into that one? Or do I have to use inserters? Or sorters, rather, sorry. Ah, there we go. That works. Okay. That's not so bad. Now I just need to start up a research where we use those blue things. 11 minutes, by the way, guys, is what it said. Maybe an hour and 11 minutes. It doesn't matter. A little bit of spaghettiing. Sometimes, yeah. View or distribution on the planet. I'm so fast? Have you ever seen somebody play this game quicker than me? Look at that. You may pork champ. I, uh, th there's not a lot of... But it's okay, I guess. You can now view the distribution of ore reserves on the planet. All ores on this planet can be located more easily now. You've unlocked universe exploration. Now you can click the detailed display button at the bottom right corner of the screen to enable real-time vein distribution. Ah, there we go. That's neat. I can turn it off as well. Yeah, we'll leave it on. Okay. I probably also want to get my turrets going. Probably not a terrible idea. Energy shield. An energy shield can resist damage from enemies and protect all facilities within its radius, yet energy shields consume energy. Really, I didn't think about that. So, write that down, guys. Energy shields use energy. View ores on the planetary system. Mm, okay. Inventory capacity. An extra construction drone. Nah, we don't need turrets, guys. Look, the threat is only at 18%. 18.2. I don't need any of that, dude. These enemies are kind, loving, caring. They have families. It's honestly a beautiful thing. So my current bottleneck is actually just the amount of Matrix Labs I have over here, which is not bad. You can queue up researches, yeah. Air reconstruction marking. Enhances battle damage analysis technology. It facilitates the analysis of ruined buildings, enables the marking of targets for expedited reconstruction. Sometimes I feel like they use Google Translate for some of the things in this game. Construction drone flying speed. I need engines for a lot of these things. That's a while away. Energy shield. Vertical construction. Yeah, yeah, the developers are from China. This game has two language options. Yeah. What's going on, CatScan? Hello. What's up, Madam Pew Pew? You weren't expecting to get his own... Oh, yeah, no, I, I wanted to play this for a little while already. Uh, probably want to be running a little chest. I don't need a million of these, but at least a couple of them would be nice to have. There we go. We'll limit the input to four stacks. You're gonna play this as well? Nice. Your company is having their end of the year meeting. There's people that have worked at the same company for 30 plus years. That's a big problem, is it? Yeah, you can stack a bunch of structures in this game, which is very handy. I think you can also stack storage chests. Yeah. 
So basically, it increases the amount of storage. Imagine being a human nerd for 30 years, yeah. You have colleagues that work in your company for longer than you've been alive for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, Barnacle? Hello. Uh, they didn't ask me to cast DreamHack Atlanta, so... They decided to go with some more people from the United States this time around. Or at least people that live a little closer by, geographically. And since the Netherlands is pretty far apart... Chet, I just realized there's a horrible mistake in my base. I will fix it right away. Can't believe this. Somehow, some way, there was one extra space and I didn't even notice it. I want to apologize to everybody watching. My factory will now be lined up. Uh, no, not everything can stack. No, no, no. But a lot of things can. Well, not a lot of things. Some things can. I left an extra space. I sound Texan to you. Thank you, dude. I do love Texas. And America, too. Name one thing that's better than Texas and America, Chad. Betcha you, you can't. I think you'll be hard-pressed to do... To, to come up with anything. Oil? Mmm... Joshua's onto something. Two Texases? What's the plural of Texas? Texai? I don't know if it's particularly relevant, but... My fuel actually runs out pretty quick. Mate, I'm already carrying around so much junk, it's insane. <laughs> hey, there we go. Got some extra speed. Please just refine all of those rings. Yeah, I, I, I genuinely do fill up my inventories very aggressively in these games. It's insane. Did you miss the attack? No, I just killed it in a heartbeat, bit Dutchy. It wasn't even close, mate. I just took out my laser, blasted them. Everybody died. Not me, though. I did not even take any damage. It was honestly unfair. The robots didn't even really get a, a chance to really attack me. Okay, so we have the research is done. An extra line of inventory capacity, dude. That's what I want. Why don't I do this in StarCraft 2? Because I play Zerk. Somehow I decided, you know what I'm gonna do? Play the hardest race. It's a real problem, Rumble. Uh, I guess we'll unlock the engine. Yeah, Zerks don't have lasers. I can also get this going, though. Let's get the turret going. But I have to make ammo for it. Okay, well, let's research it. The robots had seven hit points? Yeah, kind of like Zerk units. Like, I'm the Protoss unit. <laughs> the robots, even though they look more like... Yeah, they're the Zerks. Yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, by the way, does this game do autosave yet? It does not, does it? I need to look into that, actually. It does? Oh, it does actually. Oh, we're good, we're good. You saw it like two minutes ago? No. Oh. I zoned out every ten times it's appeared, apparently. I don't know exactly what I want to be automating, as far as, like, a priority goes. 
You've unlocked a weapon system. Now you can defend your base against raids. Very nice. Thank you very much, Argyle. Hope you had a good stream. You've unlocked the weapon system. I did. Icarus can now use ammo. Press C to open the mecha panel. Load the magazine and activate it. Use ammo to protect both yourself and the base when dark fog strikes. Let's make some of those. I'll make some bullets. Defending against raids, dude. I didn't have it ready yet for Argyle's raid, but... I will have my Magnum ammo box. Copper is self-lubricating. Dude, I love my Magnum, a Magnum ammo box to be self-lubricating. That's amazing. It can maintain its shape and still reduce the risk of deformation and fracturing when shooting. What a description, dude. <laughs> yeah, very nice. It's a little suspicious, but it can be handmade. 20 shots. Very nice. This is basically the art section on Twitch right now. You're absolutely right. This is my art live stream. Um, one thing I do want to do a bit of a better job of is... Oh, I can also make turrets themselves, right? I should probably have a turret. Yeah. Let's make like 10 of those. Um, I want to put down some more solar. Or, not solar, sorry, wind. I have 31 of these things. I guess we'll just fill up the space wherever we have space. They're a bit messy, because the terrain is very watery. There's a lot of water in this world. No, I don't seem to have a weight limit. Just a space limit in my, in my backpack. It's too much water. Better restart? I don't know, dude. This is basically the Netherlands 2.0. There's a lot of water over here, too. Do you think we restarted? No, we didn't. Although a lot of people died, but still. <gasps> Somebody just asked what's better than Texas and America. What about one crude oil seep? Actually, that somebody was me. Anyways, doesn't matter. I just realized there's a mountain of oil right in my base. That's the dream. You started playing Skyrim again? <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Skyrim was really good when it came out in 2011. Compared to other RPGs that have come out since. Can I say it? I think it would be considered mid, as the kids say, in 2023. It's fun, but... No cap, for real. All facts, no printer. I did play one of the Knights of the Old Republic games. Um, I don't remember specifically which one. I'm not a huge Star Wars guy, but I remember it was fun. Why not a Skyrim stream loco for the nostalgia? Yeah, maybe one day. The thing I dislike the most about Skyrim is like, oh shit, I'm low health. Let me open up my inventory and the game pauses and let me eat 17 wheels of cheese and 17 loaves of bread. Perfect. You pick up three dragon bones and your entire character can't walk anymore? It's like, come on, man! Why is it so heavy? And your entire character is... Yeah, I understand it's dragon bones, right? But, like, being slowed down is not a very fun mechanic. Ay ay ay. I really wonder what they're going to do with... ...the next Elder Scrolls game. I don't know, man. 
Yeah, maybe maybe with mods it's really good. You had dragon bone armor. The story was actually fun. Yeah, I remember. No, I'm not Black Sosny. I'm not even playing RuneScape at the moment. No. We're gonna unlock the engine. I've changed. I don't know if I can actually stream RuneScape and play this at the same time. Or, what? You get what I'm trying to say. So this one's already running out pretty quick. That's okay. I have an Aberrant Slayer task actually in RuneScape at the moment. Very boring task. Um, okay, I have unlocked the engine. So that is magnetic coils together with copper ingots. Wasn't that already producing magnetic coils over here? Yeah. Do I want to snoop off of this one over here? I think I'll just be manually looting some instead. You have Lizardmen? I feel like I haven't gotten any fun Slayer tasks in quite a while. It's actually kind of nuts. Um, so I do need like 60 of them, I think, for one of the manual researches or one of the manual upgrades. Yeah, plus one meter a second for the mecha movement speed. I really want that. Is Gabe spamming the chat again? Can somebody ban Gabe from the stream, please? Can build wind turbine on water? Ooh, very nice. Wait, is this the wrong item? Oh, this is electric motors. You're right. That is the wrong item. Unlocks Mecha Flight. A small aerodynamic component used as a... Okay. Let's get this instead then. Okay, we're doing a little bit of research. So I can fly my mecha to watch the enemies a little bit quicker. That sounds very handy. I do have lots of wind turbines. Yeah, 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 it's in my blood. We love wind turbines in the Netherlands. As a matter of fact, every Dutchman, fun fact, every Dutchman lives inside of a windmill. Like whenever I leave my house, I gotta be careful. I don't accidentally get my head sliced off. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Then I put on my wooden shoes and I ride my bicycle. Usually just in circles. I don't even go anywhere. I eat cheese for breakfast. Amazing, dude. Just cheese. Then I play some StarCraft 2. Guess what? Just cheese. A lot of Protoss players. Yeah, yeah, we grow tulips and weed. That's all we grow. And then we go to Amsterdam, hang out. Yeah, good times. You slept in a windmill in Canada? <laughs> really? I have never slept in a windmill. No, I lied to you. Um, <laughs> yeah, we also grow a lot of microprocessors. That's also what we do. Love growing microprocessors. It's really fun. Okay, we'll queue this thing up. Exclamation point seat, madam. A lot of people asking about my seat today. Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. 
weird, but... Exclamation point seed in the chat. Supply and demand. Default settings everything. Yep, yep, yep. Abnormal dark fog signals detected. A significant statistical correlation exists between the density of these signals and our power consumption. On this planet, dark fog is monitoring our energy fluctuations to determine how much threat we pose to them. When this threat peaks, they may launch an attack. The upper left corner of the screen shows the cumulative threat to each hive. I know we shark. Yeah, apparently that's what we do. Apparently the Netherlands does send flowers, especially to Canada to commemorate World War II. Apparently that's what they've been doing for years and years and years. Kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. The Prime Minister is always like, yo, shout out to my boys in Canada. For real, for real, no cap. His English is very Hola. good. Good morning. What's going on, Svandria? Thank you for the 38. Appreciate that. The Netherlands is... Wait, Canada is the Netherlands' girlfriend? No, I don't know. The Netherlands got liberated in World War II by a bunch of different countries, but a lot of it due to Canada. Yeah, yeah, Canada got that wartime riz. For real, for real. Sheesh! 